This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Lewis structures. Lewis structures show all the valence electrons in a molecule, the bonding electrons and the non-bonding or lone pairs of electrons. Here we have three examples of Lewis structures. In Lewis structures, the dots represent electrons. Dots between atoms represent bonding electrons and dots around an atom represent non-bonding electrons. Next, we look at the steps in drawing Lewis structures. The first step is to count the total number of valence electrons in all the atoms in the molecule. Next, determine the number of electrons needed for each atom to achieve an octet. An octet refers to a full outer energy level. Next, you subtract 1 from 2 to get the number of bonding electrons in the molecule. Step 4, add electrons to each atom until it has an octet. And finally, step 5, Count the total number of valence electrons in the Lewis structure. It should be equal to the number in part 1. Next, we look at some examples, starting with methane, which is CH4. So step 1, we count the total number of valence electrons in all the atoms in the molecule. Carbon has 4 valence electrons, and hydrogen has 1 valence electron, which we multiply by 4 because there are 4 hydrogens in the molecule. This gives us a total of 8 valence electrons. In step 2, we determine how many electrons are needed for each atom to complete its octet. Carbon needs 8, while each hydrogen only needs 2, so that's 8 plus 4 times 2, which gives us 16 electrons needed to complete each atom's octet. In step 3, we subtract 1 from 2, so that's 16 minus 8, to give us 8 bonding electrons in the molecule. So we put the carbon atom in the centre, and we bond each hydrogen atom with two electrons. Step 4 is complete each atom's octet. The carbon atom already has eight valence electrons, and each hydrogen atom already has two valence electrons. And finally, we count the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. There are eight valence electrons in the molecule, which is the same as we calculated in part 1. Our next example is dichloromethane, which is CH2Cl2. So we start by calculating the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. Carbon has four valence electrons, hydrogen has one valence electron, and chlorine has seven valence electrons. This gives us a total of 20 valence electrons. Next, we calculate the number of electrons needed for each atom to complete its octet. For carbon, that's eight, for hydrogen, it's two, and for chlorine, it's also eight which gives us 28 electrons needed to complete each atom's octet. Next, we subtract 1 from 2, which gives us 8 bonding electrons in the molecule. So we put the carbon atom in the centre, and we bond each atom with two valence electrons. Step 4 is to complete each atom's octet. Each chlorine atom needs 8 valence electrons, so we use the remaining electrons to complete each chlorine atom's octet. And finally, we count the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. There are 20 valence electrons, which is the same as the number we calculated in part 1. The next example is ammonia. Nitrogen has 5 valence electrons, and hydrogen has 1 valence electron. This gives us a total of 8 valence electrons. Nitrogen needs 8 valence electrons to complete its octet, and each hydrogen atom needs 2, which gives us 14 electrons needed to complete each atom's octet. In part 3, we subtract 1 from 2 to give us 6 bonding electrons in the molecule. We put the nitrogen atom in the centre, and we bond each hydrogen atom with 2 electrons. In step 4, we complete each atom's octet. To complete nitrogen's octet, we use the remaining electrons as non-bonding electrons. Now, the nitrogen atom has 8 valence electrons, and each hydrogen has 2 valence electrons. And finally, we count the total number of valence electrons in the molecule, which is 8, and this is the same as the value we calculated in part 1. In our last example, we look at ethene, which has a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. For part 1, we get 12 valence electrons. 24 electrons are needed to complete each atom's octet. When we subtract 1 from 2, we get 12 bonding electrons in the molecule. By having 4 electrons between each carbon atom, we have a total of 12 bonding electrons, and we also complete each atom's octet. The four shared electrons represent a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond, 
And finally, we count the total number of valence electrons in the molecule, which is 12. And this is equal to the value we calculated in part one.